Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back my lovelies. Let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of June 2021. How are you guys doing? Are you guys ready for summer? been crazy hot over here this weather is just california weather is crazy you guys it'll be like cold one day the next day is super hot <laughs> but it's been pretty hot um so let, we'll see how we do for summer it gets up it gets high up in the hundreds so all righty let's get into your reading your first card here leo is the Prince of Wands, Communication, Movement, Progress. Ooh, Seven of Swords, the Lover's card. Ten of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay, so off the bat, what they're telling you here, Leo, is that for the month of June, you're going to be experiencing a lot of communication in regards uh, to a connection. This could be a... Uh, some type of partnership or relationship that you had. Um, and when I say had, for some of you guys, it could represent uh, being currently in a situation where you're feeling like they're not being completely honest. There is uh, some sneakiness going on or hiding a certain type of actions or behavior that they've been doing. Now, for some of you guys, uh, those of you guys that have been in separation or currently not in a relationship, there was some type of break here. What they're telling you here is, especially those of you guys that have been trying to manifest this person back into your life, they're telling you to be cautious. Um, be cautious in regards to bringing them back into your life. There was a cycle um, where there was action needed um you could have been at crossroads you could have been experiencing um maybe even feeling intuitively like the person you've been dealing with has been sneaking or cheating or talking to someone and what they're telling you here is that for some of you especially those of you guys that recently started dealing with someone and there's been slow progress here what they are telling you is to be careful and be mindful pay attention as an example, if they're communicating uh, with you at odd hours of the night or not necessarily making themselves too available, um, this could be communication like hearing from them during the day uh, and then at night you're trying to contact them and they are not responding, etc. cetera. Um, the person that you're dealing with may be in some type of commitment or some type of partnership regardless of what they told you. So. I'm hearing for some of you guys, this could be like dealing with a person that could have came off as if uh, they're currently going through some type of separation, some type of breakup. But again, I feel I feel the magician in reverse. And this is to me a representation of a person that is very manipulative, a person that is very good at deceiving or lying and creating confusion. So be careful with that. I feel that there's going to be there's going to be red flags that you're going to be seeing in this month, throughout this month. And what they're telling you is don't ignore that. Pay attention. You don't want to be investing or putting effort and energy towards a connection that later on you feel like you're being blindsided. You feel like you weren't expecting it when in reality you could have just been missing those red flags. So again, pay attention to that. Now for others of you that are in a separation or there is children involved here. Um, I feel that the person that you're dealing with, meaning the past partner, whether it's the ex baby mama or the next, not the next, sorry, the ex uh, baby father, I feel that they are running off of impulse, meaning making decisions that are very irrational only because there is almost like a, a, a God complex in their personality. Um, this is the, the feeling of, you know, I did everything right, you did everything wrong. Uh, trying to manipulate circumstances and situations around, it, it's almost like 
what I'm sensing, it's almost the feeling of like being backed up in a wall, not knowing what to do. Uh, and I feel that you're very emotional to this. So it could represent that um, you're currently going through a situation where it could be that your child is rebelling against you, or it could just signify that uh, your child is currently going through some type of situation where they feel like um, they don't feel loved, they don't feel nurtured by by the other parent. Um, and I think that it's coming off as, like I said, almost like a God complex that they have to work through, that they have to uh, heal. Basically what they're telling me here is that uh, they're making things more difficult for no other reason than to make it more difficult for you. So if there was an ending to a, a relationship, as an example, and there's children involved and there was a separation, um, it could be that they just seem to make, like, make it more difficult for you. Um, whether it's in finances, whether it's them, you know, that they stopped helping you financially, or whether it's them trying to impose what they think is right, because what they're doing is giving you financial assistance. But in reality, they're not putting the effort to be present. Do you see what I'm saying with your child? So again, I feel that that's something you're going to be dealing with for this month. However, what they're telling you is remain in your power. Don't let it affect you um, to the point of reacting out of anger because that's what they want. That's what they're expecting. Now, for others of you, it could represent that you were uh, dealing with someone that there was some type of emotional connection here and you started to see certain things not add up or you started to notice certain changes in them. And I feel that for this month, you're going to start to either feel very like you're the one that's pulling your energy back or you're the one that's going to be very like withdrawn, uh, not fully investing in this connection. And the reason for that is because, again, I feel like there is something about their behavior or how they're acting around you that is just not adding up. So I, I do I do feel you like being in your pride, being in your ego. Um, and, and pulling your energy back. And I don't mean this in a bad way. I think that's great that you're doing that um, because it shows self-love. It shows that you know your worthiness and you know you deserve uh, to, be to be treated um, well, to be reciprocated in regards to how much effort they put into this connection. But just be mindful of sneaky behavior, uh, not only in relationships, but those around you as well. Um, could be a situation where you catch someone off guard uh, that they're speaking bad about you or they're saying like gossiping about you and you kind of catch them in the act. What they're telling you here is, um, you know, just don't be surprised if that happens because I feel that especially with the retrograde, there is a lot of people that are uh, all in their feelings because there's misunderstandings, a lot of miscommunication. And the positive in this is that it also, when people get um, very much in their feelings and they get defensive, um, it's kind of like that saying where, you know, people speak the truth when they're mad or when they're drunk. So <laughs> that's the kind of scenario that I'm sensing for you guys. So I see a lot of revelations coming out for this month for you Leos out there. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is. In regards to the situation, Leo, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's definitely not a surprise. We have the moon. And the moon is all about thoughts, your intuition, uh, sensitivity. So you're extremely sensitive right now in regards to your intuition. You're picking up on whims, um, getting or feeling pulled towards certain things. And you may not fully understand Um but as the time progresses or as the days go by, it, it becomes a clearer picture. So again, what they're telling you here is listen to your intuition, Leo. Um, there's a lot of things that are hidden that will be revealing um, in this month of June 2021. I feel that there are certain things that you've been either reflecting or having like really being in your head about wanting to get some type of clarity and what they're telling you is that for this month you're going to be getting that clarity just be prepared 
um, cause it, it may come, um, through seeing, you know, people's true intentions. And sometimes that's not a good thing. Um, it is a good thing because it shows you who they really are and you know where you stand with them, but it's not necessarily a good thing, especially when you have hope or when you have faith in certain people, it's almost like a feeling of being let down. So again, uh, be mindful about that. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.